Hi there, welcome back. It's Alistair from the De Havilland Aircraft Museum. Look at this one. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? I don't know really. It's, it's all sorts really. Um, it's an autogyro. It's quite a rare creature actually. It's um, not a helicopter and it's not an aeroplane. It's some sort of a hybrid between the two. Um, they were popular in the 1930s but they died out when uh, real helicopters were invented. It's got a conventional engine and uh, an airscrew at the front to drive it along like an aircraft. But you'll notice it's also got a rotor on the top. Uh, now the rotor is not powered in flight. Uh, it's only powered by the shaft to start the thing up uh, on the ground at first. And once you've got it spinning, once you're going forwards, the rotor keeps going round on its own due to the forward draft of air going across it. And the pitch in the aerofoil section of the rotors uh, and the little small wings here, which are really only big enough just to take the control surfaces on it, um, the combination of a little bit of lift from there and lift from the rotors uh, keeps the whole contraption in the air. So, unlike a normal helicopter, you can't take off and land vertically in an autogyro, you can't hover. But uh, what you can do is you can fly relatively slowly because they can, they can chug along at a very slow speed. In actual fact, they can keep their place over the ground if you're flying into a strong enough headwind, but that's not true hovering in the sense of a helicopter. What you can't do in one of these really is stall it. Uh, an aircraft has to be flying forwards all the time for its wings to generate enough lift. An autogyro doesn't really have that problem um, because its, it's, its rotors will keep rotating whatever happens. Um, and if you fly very, very slowly, the thing will just drift down to the ground if it hasn't got a lot of forward speed. So you really can't stall the thing. Um, they're quite stable. The, the thing is, they didn't, they didn't, in terms of um, takeoff length and takeoff distance or anything like that, they didn't present a huge amount of advantage over the conventional aircraft. Uh, and they could only ever be quite small. Um, this particular one uh, was developed from a de Havilland Puss Moth, um, which was one of the de Havilland Moth family of aircraft. Uh, now, um, the, the, the Autogyros really were the brainchild of a Spanish engineer called uh, de la Cherva, who came over to the UK in the 20s and 30s and he produced a number of designs of Autogyros which various manufacturers built for him. De Havilland built in this one, it's called the Cherva C24 Autogyro. It's the only rotor wing aeroplane that de Havilland ever built. This is the only one of its kind. Um, quick nod to the Science Museum, who actually own this aircraft, it's their aeroplane, not ours, um, and they very kindly allowed us to do a little bit of care and maintenance work on it, uh, and restoration work, which you see going on, you can see the silver stripes on the fuselage here, which is where we're, we're um, putting new patches over the, um, the existing, very frayed um, uh, fabric covering, um, just to do a little bit of conservation work on the aircraft, we're not going to do a full restoration, just yet, but we've agreed with the Science Museum we can just do some work to look, look after it really. So there's our autogyro. I'd like to dedicate this one to um, Terry Pankhurst and to John Clark. John is one of our newer volunteers who is uh, taking this one as his own and he's doing a sterling job on it. Um, and also one thing thing about it, I'd like to dedicate it to Pete Shawcross too because Pete is one of our school of volunteers. He's done an awful lot to us with us uh, on uh, videoing and on photographic work and things like that. Uh, and archiving and so forth. So this one's for you as well, Pete. Thanks very much for all, you, all you've done. Uh, thumbs up there from Steph. <laughs> um, there's your autogyro. Come and see. You'll never see another one anywhere else in the world. Not like this anyway, you won't. So you better come You better come over here and have a look at ours then. C24 autogyro, as ever was. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Stay safe, stay well, stay in touch.